percentage difference to join me. Um, for starters, for those of us who maybe haven't heard of OIQ, uh, what is it? Mm. Um, OIQ is basically a group of students who uh, know Jesus, who want to make him known. Um, so we're convinced that Jesus, um, Jesus says that he offers living water, that whoever drinks it will never be thirsty again. Um, and we want to um, share that, that like, lasting satisfaction with, um, with the other students at Oxford University. Um, so yeah, it unites Christian students um, around what we take to be like the fundamentals of the Christian faith. Um, yeah, for the purpose of sharing Jesus with our university. And what is the difference between a central OIQ and then the college team meetings? Because there is a difference. Hmm. So OIQ has central meetings that bring together students from um, all the colleges um, to, uh, yeah, to join together to, to worship God, to be encouraged. Um, but we also have college groups, which are much smaller communities um, within each college. Uh, the college group will get together to look at some of the Bible, to pray together, um, to give students in that college a chance to come and explore what Jesus says in a much um, in a much smaller environment where they can actually chat to individuals and, and see what see what they think. And how obviously OIQ is um, caters to um, lots of Christians coming from around the world and from many different denominations. How how do you cater to the difference? <laughs> um, it's a good question. We try and um, find a balance between different styles, different um, cultural approaches, but ultimately we're all um, actually united by Jesus. We have slightly different um, ways of doing things, slightly different, um, yeah, things that look slightly different in different places, but actually at our, at our heart, we all, um, believe the same fundamental things, the same kind of heart of Christianity. And so actually we can come together around that and come together around the person of Jesus that we, um, that we share. And for students starting um, this year, obviously, um, it's going to be different to most other years, but always um, moving to a new city, finding a new church can be bit of a, a struggle. So is OICU affiliated to any churches? And if not, how can the society help freshers find a church? Mm, it's a great question. Um, we'd really want to encourage people to be getting involved in churches in Oxford. OIQ isn't a church. And we always say that, um, yeah, we'd rather see people getting involved in, in a church. Um, we are, we, there is a group of churches that partner with, with OIQ. Um, if you go to loveoxfordstudents.co.uk, um, you'll find details of all the churches that the CU partners with. And actually we're, um, we're starting the term encouraging people to try church for the first time. Uh, whether that's freshers, whether it's people coming back. Um, we think that it's really worth, if you've never been, just, just trying it and seeing what you make of it. And so we're, um, we're encouraging people to do that. We're offering people the chance to meet up with a CU member to maybe grab a coffee beforehand. The coffee's on us. Um, yeah, just to meet up with a CU member who will take you to church. So yeah, if you, if you look on the OIQ website um, for Try Church, we can um, help people find a church and try church for the first time with a free coffee. That's awesome. And I know a lot of people who, you know, maybe haven't uh, heard of Christian unions before um, will be wondering how, uh, how does the Christian union interact with other religious groups and secular societies uh, within the university? Um, it's, a good, it's a good question as well. We, 
we sometimes have um, interfaith events where we sort of engage in dialogue with people from other faith groups and discuss the differences in what we believe. Um, but often I think we sort of we sort of operate in our own independent spheres and yeah we we look like a university society in a lot of ways we are a university society obviously so we put on events and talks um for students to come to to engage with the claims of christianity and see what they make of it themselves um but yeah often we we sort of do those on our own if that makes sense yeah and um we've already discussed that the pandemic has definitely had an effect on freshers but with regards to Oiku itself, how has the pandemic affected you? Um, I mean, I guess, so last term in summer, we, none of us were in Oxford, so we took as much as we could online. We had a lot of, um, a lot of things happening on Zoom, a um, bit of a classic for everyone, I'm sure. And so we were able to, we were able to meet together on Zoom to hear from the Bible, to pray together. Um, the college groups kept meeting on Zoom um, and yeah having that community in a time when that was quite hard I think um, and we also ran our kind of talks that we usually run online um, we run a thing called Oxford Big Questions where we ask big questions about life and death and faith and God and um, we had three of those talks last term uh, on, on different questions about Christianity um, which are all still on our YouTube basically we took everything online um, and then going forward into this term we're looking at a more hybrid kind of some stuff online some stuff in person where that's um, allowed and safe and responsible um, and it's just I think I think the big thing is that it's made community really difficult for everyone um, and so we really want we really want the CE to be a place where people can come and feel welcomed and um, yeah and find like friends and community and a place to belong yeah so what um, kind of events are taking place this term um, obviously as you said it will be hybrid uh, so what can the freshers look forward to mm. Um, I think the the main thing to say would be look out for your college CE and um, every college will have a, a college rep um, who will be coordinating sometimes there'll be one or two um, and be coordinating event like events in college um, they may well be on zoom or they might be small small group um, meetups um, as long as that's allowed um, and that would just be a really great way to meet people especially I think sort of rules differ across colleges but with fairly restricted household bubbles that would just be a really great way to um, find friends and, and people outside that people in different years on different courses um, that'd be the main thing I'd say to look out for um, obviously we're also as I mentioned earlier, running this um, try church thing to um, give freshers a chance to try church, uh, give everyone a chance to try church. And then there'll be other things sort of happening. Keep an eye out. We're still finalizing plans, but um, hopefully we'll give every fresher a, a welcome pack because we really want people to feel welcome um, in Oxford. There'll be a uh, scavenger hunt taking place in Freshers Week again in small socially distant groups um, and then through the term we'll be trying to um, keep keep meeting whether that's on Zoom whether it's um, in churches subject to the regulations for places of worship because they're COVID exempt so we can um, get together in a church socially distanced um, we're going to be um, trying to answer people's big questions. We've got a um, thing happening called Your Big Questions. If you look out for that, 
chance for you to ask any question you want and we're going to try and get um, experts to just produce a short video answering those questions. Yeah. Um, yeah. Awesome. Um, and so for those students who kind of quite casually believe in God, but they've never considered um, exploring Christianity, um, you've got a lot going on this term, a lot of opportunities to, um, to explore Christianity. What would you say to those people? Um, I'd say definitely get involved. Um, feel free to come and ask your questions. There's no expectation for you to um, believe a certain thing, to come to our events or to try things out. Um, we run a thing called The Search, which happens on Monday nights. Um, that's going to start online this term um, and they will have to stay online, but hopefully we'll move into being in person when that's allowed again. Um, and that's basically a discussion group, a chance to um, look at maybe a short passage of the Bible or consider an issue and just discuss that. Groups of people who think different things, but discuss those questions and see whether Jesus has the answer. And actually, that'll be a really great place to go to bring friends to just chat about chat about big things and um and yeah explore the questions that you have and see whether you can make up your mind because we're convinced that who you say jesus is is the most important question a person can consider yeah. and so for those who are pretty certain they want to get involved with oiku um how can freshers get involved mm. um i think the big thing to say would be get in contact with the, your college rep if you go onto the oik website there'll be a there's a page of colleges um which will have contact details for all the college reps uh, if you're keen to be involved just let them know that you're coming make contact with them they'll be really excited to hear from you um and then otherwise just keep an eye out on social media and sign up to try church in Oxford. Um, yeah, but the big thing would be get involved in your college group because yeah. it's a great way to actually get to know people properly. Um, and then to finish with a kind of slightly more fun question, what has been your go-to TV series throughout this pandemic? Oh, um, I started watching The West Wing with my family. Um, if you know it, it's a long sort of American political drama. And we started it right at the start of lockdown and sort of plowed through 150 episodes <laughs> over six months, um, which is quite an investment. Felt like a bit of an achievement when we got to the end. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining me and uh, for helping us. Um, tell your freshers about Oiku.